Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here with another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Extreme Randomized Open Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, if you did not see, we lost against Lance. But I'm calling it that it's not over just yet because we still have Pokemon in the PC. And we're going to be going through the Elite Four once again. But you you all already saw the first parts of the Elite Four, so I'm going to... Make sure that I'm all stocked up on this. And I'll meet you when I get to Lance. So see you guys then. Okay everyone, I'm back at Lance. Now, before we fight him, let's take a look at our team and what have we've gotten from here from the last time. We have C the Monk. He is a elect water electric type with ice body uh, he has razor leaf luster purge sludge u-turn then we have bounce of sir viper the fire steals steel type and he has spatial run needle arm dragon pulse waterfall with hydration next we have our psychic type luxray omega with normalized which suck but he has Hyper Beam, Comet Punch, Drain Punch, Shadow Force. Next we have Melon the Psychic type Bronzong with Dry Skin. He has Dragon Rage, Head Smash, Surf, Payday. Then we have Volcanion the Sharpedo, Fire Water type. He has Illuminate with Calm Mind, Fly, Psycho Cut, Bug Fight. Then we have Turtlet the Dark Rock type <coughs> Blast Toys with Intimidate. With Bug Bite, Discharge, Energy Ball, Heat Wave. He's going to be essential for this Lance battle. Now, I have somewhere. Let me go open it up. I I don't want that. I want this. Now, we kind of know what... We do know what Lance has. He has a... Kabutops, Articuno, Acelebi, Heracross, Deoxys, and Shaman. We know what Shaman is. We don't know what all the others are. But let's get right into the episode and hopefully we can beat him this time. I've been waiting for you. We've already been through this, so let's get right onto it. It took a bit to get here, but I don't mind that. We have Champion Lance. We're starting off with the Kabu Tops. Let's see. I am going to be safe and I'm going to Heat Wave first turn. Avoid it. Your uh, Stealth Arc. That's kind of going to hurt us a bit. Let's see. Let's Heat Wave and let's see. That's neutral. Okay. Flash Cannon. That's super effective, but it, we took that. Let's bug bite. That's super effective. Yes, but that didn't do a lot. Let's heal up. I bought some hyper potions, some full restores this time. And we have some max elixirs that I went out and got. This thing's just going to keep flash cannon cannoning me. Let's bug bite and hope for a crit. We got a crit. Okay. Let's see. What are you going to be going into next? You're going to be going into the Articuno. Uh, let's look at all of our moves. I think we have to go into Melon for this. Let's see what we got. That was a lot of... Oh, I forgot to heal Melon. That, that could be detrimental to us. Let's Surf. Thank you for that. This is super effective. So he has to be a fighting... Or... A, what? Is weak to psych... Okay, thank you.
Okay, he's probably gonna full restore. Yes, he does full restore this turn. Okay. We just do under half. Pursuit. I'm fine with that, because it doesn't do a whole lot. Will he do another full restore? He does not. Okay, cool. What is the next man he's going to bring out? It could be any of the other four. And this time I actually have mines that are the same level as him. You're going to send out the Deoxys, which is a ground type. Do we have any water moves? We do have waterfall. We do have energy ball. Let's use... I'm thinking of using bounce for this. Because he could definitely help us. Hopefully bounce the lips. D-axis is so cool. Let's waterfall. Triple kick. We resist that. Which is good. Hit three times. Waterfall. How much damage does this do? Since this is normal D-axis. Oh, it did a decent amount. That was almost a one-shot on the axis. That's insane. Next, you could have a sh bring out the Shaman or Heracross. I'm scared of both of them. He's sending in the Shaman, which we, we could just stay in. He could also send in the Celebi, too. Let's just waterfall this thing because it's times for... And that's... That's super effective. That... that hurt. Bounce died. We had to go into Turtlet. Then we had to heal. Now this could help us with the attack drop. Uh, let's see. What type were you bounce? Your fire steel. We should be good. But let's just heal up. S super effective. Oh, crap. Wait. What is the typing of Psybeam? Ground type? Wait, what, what type are you? That does a lot. We do nothing to the Shaman. Let's full restore. It almost does over half. Let's just speed up a bit. Okay, we got some drops. Poison powder, let's... Sorry for the speed up. Shaman is being a nuisance. I think, I think we're fine now. Sorry for that bit of speed up. It was necessary for us to get past the shaman more and more. I think all it has left is helping hand right now. 
and we're doing good amount, good bits of damage. I'm sad that we lost Bounce and Turtlet. Okay, it's doing spit up. Okay, Shaman's down now. He, I believe, only has Heracross and Selby left. Okay, he's going into the Celebi. Let's go into Volcanion for this. Oh, that did a lot. Let's do a Calm Mine. Never mind. Mixed Noxcusa. How much does it do normally? It does 52 damage. That's a lot of damage. But I think we could live one more of these and win against this. I didn't want accuracy to drop. Okay, good. We landed. And Zelby is down. Now all that's left is the Heracross. About to send out Heracross. Let's switch into Melon. Oh, it's so close. Oh, that recoil is bad. Rip Melon. That hurt so much. Let's go into C. I know he's just gonna do a full restore. He has. Oh, this is bad. I think Sludge has a chance of poisoning? Let me check Sludge real quick. Sludge. I don't think it has a... Does it? 30% chance of poisoning the target. We have to fully restore it up. We can't get the poison on him. That sucks. Poison gas. Sorry for the bursts, the bursts of speed ups for this whole episode. It is a close, close game. One mess up and I lose. One tiny thing, I lose. That's how it is right now. Fourth full restore. Now he's resorting to counter. There, finally. That took way too. This could have helped a while ago. I'm gonna get rid of Luster Purge because I don't think it needs to be there. It's over. But uh, we beat the game at least. <sighs> you have become truly powerful, Nate. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Oh no, it's all over, Professor. If you weren't so slow. Ah, uh, Nate. 
It's been a while. A long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too because they believed in you as a trainer. They persevered. Congratulations, Nate. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit noisy. Nate, c could you come with me? Oh, wait. We haven't done the interview. I don't care about the interview. I just wanted to beat Lance. It's been a long time since I came here last. This is where we commem commemorate the League Champion for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also in inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League Champion. A trainer who feels c compassion for compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeds through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Nate, allow me to register you and your partners as a champ as champions. Even though two of them are left. We lost Turtlet, which was sad. He did pull his weight. We lost Bounce. He did pull his weight as well. For the short amount of time. We have the Savior, C, the Muck. He's still around, which is great. We have Melon. Sadly, he fainted. Then we have Volcanion. He could have done better. His stats are not that good. And we have Omega. Our Luxray is still standing. I'm glad it's Omega and C that are still there. And yeah, that's the end of this episode. Let's just speed up through the credits. Because these are long, and I would like to end off the episode. Right here. Because we need to... Nah, yep, Professor Owl needs us. Oh, that's new. Invisible Sprite's coming to... Coming near you. Um, let's, let's fly to Cherry Grove to deposit our deceased. Our deceased are including Tartlet, Bounce, Melon, and Bull Canyon. This is a full deck death box. Definitely if we do find another RCs in Kanto when we get there, I'm definitely going to revive one of our old team members like Darkrai, Alice, King Crab or Pinsir or even Ken. But we managed to defeat the league and yeah, we have I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do now looking at that box. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, please subscribe for future content as I upload every day at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also hit that bell to get notified when I do. Also, if you did enjoy the th video, please share it. It's much appreciated as it helps out the channel. My Twitter, Facebook, and Discord server are in the description below. Please leave a follow if you would like. But anyways, I have been Bolt Spider. Hopefully you all have a great week. And goodbye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left
storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust 